Yo. Yo. Happy. Happy day. What's going on? What's Wait for y'all to jump on here. Happy, happy so, Friday. Happy Friday. What you looking at? Okay. And what's going on in the world? Yeah. The the um craziness. The craziness. The, the craziness. The craziness. The craziness. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Jump on here. Jump on here. We happy, lie. Tell somebody. Fabulous. It's, Fuego. Freedom Friday. Tell somebody so they'll tell somebody. Yes, that we are lying. Tell somebody that will tell somebody we lie. Tell somebody so we tell somebody. Yes. We live. Got some great stuff to talk about. Happy, happy day. Let us know where you are watching from. Where y'all watching from? Where are you watching from? As I pull up. We live. We live. Some stuff. We live. For us to discuss. Tell somebody. Tell What's somebody. What's going on? It's been what, share two this weeks? Video. Share this. Share this. Share this. Share this. Share this. Tell somebody to tell somebody. That we haven't seen you guys, so we got to catch up on some good tell stuff. Tell somebody to tell media. somebody. Oh, man. Y'all, I cut my hand today. Y'all know how we. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. I <laughs> yeah. thought I was going to pass out. I yeah. don't know what happened. Happy, happy Easter happy to Easter you, too. Happy Easter, too. And, and Yvonne, good Friday. Good Yvonne, Friday. Yvonne, Yvonne right. Hernandez. Happy, happy Easter to you too. The resurrection. Hysteria. Hysteria. Okay, local. Okay, what's going on? Local in the hot desert. What's up, Paca? What's, from what's North up? North Carolina. From, from North Kakalaki. How y'all feeling? How you doing? North Kakalaki. Idaho. Idaho in the Idaho. building. Idaho. God's Idaho. What's going on? Every time I hear Idaho, it make you think about a potato. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I don't know much else about Idaho, but I do know about those potatoes. Her very, very pretty, very oh, um, yeah. rural. Mm-hmm. Austin, Texas AZ. in the building. AZ. Hey, Darlene. We got multiple AZs. We got multiple Arizonas what's in here. We got Austin. Awesome. We got big Texas Diane, in here. Michael, what's good? Great people. What's going on? Y'all know where we calling from. We are calling from Southern California um, Southern in a city Cal. called Corona. In a city called Corona. In Southern California. What are you guys doing for the holiday weekend? What's going on? It's Good Friday and it's Easter weekend. Yes. Hope you guys Passover spend time weekend. Resurrection weekend. What up from crawfish season? What's up, Curtis? What's up from crawfish season? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Ain't not like crawfish. Are you going to be spending time with your uh, families? Hello from Chicago. Hey, What's Lillian? going on from Chicago? With Lillian from Chicago. Spending time with family and friends. If you don't have family. Where you are, do you have friends, or are you going to be celebrating or spending time just with yourself? Chill, cool, calm, and collected. They say it's supposed to rain. I'm like, please don't let it rain. My yeah. hell. Tell me it's going to rain on Sunday. It says 85, well, 65% chance. Yo, our church, we can, it, cannot, it cannot rain on us because please. our church be having a massive line to get in. Oh, my gosh. So we Am need I to make pressed? sure that it's not it raining. Be, it's but you know poofed. what? When it rains up there. And it's going to rain. They let everybody just come. They make sure everybody just come into the church. I hope so. Because, ugh, who wants to be in line in the rain? Anyway, so, all right. See, y'all see my my title, man. It's so much. It was a lot going on. I told y'all last year. I'm telling this year. I said this year is going to be crazy. And we just getting to the top level of it. We still get. It's the first quarter stuff that's going to be kind of ridiculous. And then. You know, we get around to that summertime and to the end of the year. Y'all already know election time is going to be unbelievable. But um, so y'all see the first thing I dropped on there, I think it was, um, was it um, the Can bridge? It? No, the bridge collapse. Okay. So looking at the bridge collapse thing, you know, that, that content was everywhere. The videos were everywhere. And then when they got to the point of showing the slowdowns of the um, ship hitting the bridge, I was like, oh, no, I ain't going to I got to be careful what words I say on this platform. But that looked mighty suspicious. And my question is, how in the world? It looked really suspicious. I mean, you have all this other space where the bridge could have, you know, gone under without making that point of contact. And I was thinking, was the bridge sturdy? Because if it hit. You know, in a certain place that wasn't like right in the middle, could yeah. the bridge still have partly been up? Yeah, it didn't make sense. And that's what um someone said. So alleged that if it had a hit, you know, possibly somewhere else, they wouldn't have lost as much of the bridge. Yeah. So, I mean, how happened that the ship loses power, you know, and then 
all of a sudden they lose the ability to be able to steer because that's what the the report said. It was, they lost and, the ability to be able to right. steer, and then bam! But don't you realize this many many miles ahead that something is off and you're heading straight for disaster? And didn't they say everybody? I don't know if how true this was, but didn't they say everybody that was on that ship was on lunch? No. Nah, well, I mean, so you, they must I'm, have put I'm it on autopilot. I'm going to say this. It sounds like we were having lunch. Hold on tight. Lunch. I don't know. Because why would it be so close to hitting the the podium? First of all, why couldn't it have gone under and go, gone to the other parts of the bridge? Why did it... Change course. It was going like this, and then it went up, and then all the lights cut off, cut off, and then it hit the. No, nah, man. What else going? And then Biden said he came out there and said we're gonna we're gonna pay for every that. Y'all don't have to worry about all that. Why? Yeah, and that was my question. You mean too. America's going to pay for that? That's what you're saying because that needs to be the job of the insurance. The insurance needs to cover all that wreckage and everything that happens. But why? Somebody tell me why he wants to pay for it. What is coming out of that and what's behind that? What's making him say, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pay for that. What do you already know? I don't you know. know. What I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? But that's what I was looking up now. It says Biden vowed to pay for rebuilding Baltimore's collapse bridge. And here's how that works. You know, I'm not really going to read the details, but, you know, this was on this is on um, Politico. Yeah. And it says Congress has moved swiftly in the past following a bridge collapse if it wants to. So my question is, yeah. they've been back and forth about it, but now maybe they are agreeing. But, I mean, do you feel like it should be the state of Baltimore versus the U.S.? I mean, I mean, I, what, I feel like for the, ship? for the bridge, I feel like it, it is a disaster, but it was on. But it was. a Yeah. What about the ship who hit the bridge? Why aren't they being push to have to compensate for this you sure that boat ain't registered under um biden <laughs> lillian sure says no insurance no investigation yeah right exactly and also they're discovering that right before it um right before everything happened the footage the last minutes of footage disappeared they said it's just miraculously the most important footage of it of has course just disappeared of course. of course, allegedly it just went, you know, it's what happened to it. Jenny went. says, what I don't understand is why there were no escort ships and tugboats leading that huge cargo ship out into open. Absolutely. Water. And why was it that close in the city? Was there enough space under underpass for that thing to go under the under the bridge or no? That's my question, because when you look at the bridge, I've never been. I've never been to Baltimore, but. So I don't know how the bridge looks. Was it enough space for the thing just to go under? It went out. The ship went out of its way to hit a column. Well, I mean, if it had have gone down further, that's why I said it was like it wasn't even close to where it, it seems as if it could have passed under the, the, the bigger part of the arch of the bridge. But where it, you know, allegedly lost power, that's where. But. Long before you got right that close, don't you have a perspective as to where you're going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Don't they have like radars and stuff, the little little symbols and, you know, gadgets to let them know? Bah, 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 bah. Warning, warning. Somebody said they prop, D said they propping up the black governor to run for president, introduce him to the country. I had oh. never even seen him mm. before until today. I didn't know who he was until today. And, um, I'm like, oh, okay, this is a young dude. But I'm like, um, but the whole situation really is weird and it's and it's and they say it's I know if I was on another platform I could say I could say the B S. You know, it's a swan, but it's something the word my skin, you know, skin in front of it. So Glad that's what said. they're saying that that's what that is. That's one of those stage they saying it feels staged. She said the black box recording had too much background noise, I'm sure. What would that mean? So if there's if there's background noise, does that mean that there's something in the background that could alter the situation? Like it would change the situation if they heard what was being in background? 
No. I don't get it. She said there was too much background noise, so they may not even been able to hear what really happened because of all the background noise. I'm sure like the actual crash, the collision of the boat and the bridge and then had all the cargo on it and then, you know, all the stuff that was on the bridge. It was chaos. And it says President Biden said the federal government should do all it can to help rebuild the span and reopen the city's port. You know what they would have heard in the background? What? Steer it to the left or you're going to miss it. I mean, I don't know. But, you know, how I run it <laughs> is everybody going to be on lunch at the same time. Just kind of fishy to me. Yeah. Um, it could it could have easily passed under the bridge. The crew effed up. And see, that's what I was thinking. But where it showed, it looked like it didn't even make it to that part under the bridge where it could have passed, you know, safely. It was too close to the side that was closing down and when i first saw it i was like is this for real you know i'm thinking i thought it was something that somebody had just yeah did, I, like I, in a video I, game yeah, like or whatever was, this commercial yeah, was and too. i was like wait a minute this is for real this is real life i here. said the same thing too. oh my gosh so sad about the people who were on it that lost their lives you know it's like hold on hold on, hold on. i didn't think nobody on the ship lost their lives i thought the no, people on the bridge right yes yeah, so i'm saying what uh, has any interview come out about the people on the bridge well, we know they were workers. Yeah, but have anybody seen workers? them? On the, no, I'm sorry. The people on the ship. Has anything come oh. out? Have they shown? Has anybody anybody been interviewed from on the ship? I haven't heard anything about that. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, man, it's about to get it's about to get more buck and crazy. I'm telling you, so then I'm telling y'all need to go out, get you ham radios. An get your hand radios. Get your and they cheap. Get your biofang. An a emergency UDR5. supplemental bill providing two hundred and fifty million for um toward rebuilding the bridge emerged the following day. What just happened here? Why and why is it that he jumped to Biden don't jump quick to nothing? So he jumped quick to say that he gonna pay for everything. I'm telling you, man. It's but where is the money coming from? It's like we are in, know it in come so from. much debt. Where, where is this money coming from? We're well, we're gonna write that check. For seven hundred quadrillion dollars to make sure it's fixed, you know, no problem. Make sure everybody's okay. So I don't know, man. That's well, that on sound. It didn't. It didn't. It none of it makes sense. They're on uh, recess for the next two weeks. Congress is on recess for the next two weeks, making on, quick. It said. He said that. I heard that six crew were missing, presumed dead. Are you serious? Yeah. How can they be dead? It only hit, knocked off. But they didn't do the, that much damage to the ship. But no, those are the people that were on the bridge. I'm talking about the people. You talking about the crew? We said heard that six crew. Crew are people that own the boat. Um, no, I didn't hear that. The people that I heard were on the on. The no, we bridge. know they lost their lives, but are we talking yeah. about the people on the boat? Yeah, I don't know about them. Um, I haven't heard anything about them. Look like they turned and in, turned into the structure. But it says sure Congress is up. on recess for the next two weeks, making quick action very difficult. The Baltimore Bridge is also much longer, and there's no cost estimate yet for the rebuild. Hey, me, me and uh, me and Snapper were talking about this the other day. So when we went to, um, when we were in last year, when we were in San Francisco, and when you go to San Francisco to cross over to try to go to the Oakland side, you got to, there's only two ways to get across. You got to go across bridges. It's, a br it's the Golden Gate Bridge, and then it's the other bridge that takes you to Oakland. Either one of them feels super uncomfortable because both of them, when you're going over those bridges, they go straight up, they get rid, they get narrow, and then if it depends on the time of day, it's trafficy. And I looked at it, and every time when we went going and come back, it felt uncomfortable because the first thing thinking my mind is if there's a situation, you a duck. No, you, you're not. You, you roll your windows down so if something is going on, you can swim out of the window. And I told him that, and that's exactly what they oh, said please. on the news. That's what they said on the news. That is what they said on the news. That is the absolute truth. I was like, see, that's exactly what you need to do. Okay, well, your side will be rolled up and my side gonna be down. I will be swimming to safety. So Joy saying, what well, she's saying, snapper. When when she get to talking talking to the left, I, I call her by her first name. Whatever. Listen, that's that's, that's that makes said, sense. Great people. My Come babe on. said, "We on the bridge. Something about to happen. It's hysterical. First thing you do, roll the windows down." Well, okay, no. So get out and run for it, then, Forrest. Run, I, yeah. for, <laughs> run for it, Forrest. And run. Big, and what you gonna have? You gonna have your elbows Please. sitting outside the door like you're in the old. As he said, she is right. No, and then I actually knew. Um. Uh. 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 What? She was another teacher that I work with, 
in Clayton County, and she had everything you can imagine in your car. And she had yeah, this the, thing. Yeah, the San, Pr- so San when, Francisco. So <laughs> when it, if her car went out into the water, she had something to hit the glass or the windshield would break, and she could swim through it. But my thing is, why not already just have your windows roll down? You have enough time if your car is going over an embankment or something into water, you got enough time to roll the window down. Most people aren't thinking like that, but I will. Trust so me. So you're just going to be prepared with your arm out the window ready for it. What, if you, what you mean arm out the window? No. If you're, no, if you're in this situation or you're driving, let's say the car is going I, down. I, you better sorry. roll the window down. You have to think fast. Well, hopefully it'll never happen to us. Please, Lord, let it never happen. First of all, the thought of something of being hey, that far up in the sky and that... And something it's happened creepy. was it was completely creepy and completely uncomfortable. I, so I don't I don't I don't really want to not really well, excited about doing that. Um, buckle the seatbelt, roll window down. Exactly, D. That's once you get to the water, right? No, you do that before you get to the water because at the water, the water pressure will not allow you to roll the window what down. What if somebody honey? in a motorcycle going by? Okay, he see your window. He jumping the car with you. Okay. No, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just talking, man. Anyway, anyway the whole situation is messed up, and I think in time things will start being revealed. Some things will never be revealed, but y'all going to see stuff going. This is just the beginning, first quarter. We ain't got that. We haven't got the April. Or let me see, January, February, March, February, March. So we are coming up on second quarter. So here, the Congress notably delayed relief funding for several months in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy's devastation in the Northeast due to GOP opposition. So I wonder how fast they're actually going to be able to get this ball rolling. You know, we're just going to have to pray for them to be able to, you know. And the thing is, I mean, it, it's devastation, but it's not, you know, based off what the uh, the news what was thing, saying is that yeah. if it had been another area or another bridge in Maryland, yeah. it could have really um, held up some things because that was a port, I guess, that led to several other could have been states or other you know surrounding states. But this one is not as bad, even though a lot of th- things come in and out, but it still but, is not as bad as it is the looks. Thank God that on that bridge, it wasn't. Thank God that not the traffic. law and the law enforcement and things like that were able to cut off to a degree, so everybody wasn't just naturally traveling across that bridge. What would right. have been devastating if it was rush hour time or a very busy time of day, and you seeing something hit the tank and cars and stuff falling in the ship like a straight up movie, like this is twenty twelve. That's well, would have been devastating, well, yeah. even more so. People would have seen it coming though, and maybe would have had given you people time to respond because. You know, just like Ooh, on, just on one of these it. movies we just saw, the, right. the, the daughter saw the ship coming to the Obama movie. They just did. Yeah. The, the girl was like, the ship is moving really close to us. And finally, the parents were able to was like, it is coming towards us. But they had enough time to get up and move. You know what I'm saying? Regardless. So do you, I, I don't do, know. Do you think a person would have enough time? I'm, and we're going to move to the next one. But it's just trying to hit me, hit my mind. Do you think a person would have enough time to take off and and like get out the car and run no. always get up for safety it was too far right it too depends far on where you are that's why hopefully you will be able to swim that's your best bet is to jump <laughs> oh, your best bet is to jump and swim Woo, my god um just the thought of that sounds, kicking your feet oh no but anyway i'm gonna segue into the doubt you know I, I, I don't know we, we just i don't know just now the thought of it kind of saying it makes you feel kind of creeped out but um who, what was it? it was it was the next thing I had on my list in there. so I want to talk about the next thing I do want to talk about is Candace though like Candace Owens um, and the, the cri- and the Daily Wire and the whole thing about being Christ hey, being king X-Men. what's up I realized so I realized I'm like okay with that whole Candace situation if Christ ain't king what's the point of Daily Wire I thought Daily Wire was a Christian conservative network so if Christ ain't king and Ben Shapiro had a problem with that. What's I'm I'm happy that Candace Owens is no longer with them. Now she can be a she can be Tucker Carson mode. I, I you know, just going back to certain things, this has been going on for, you know, a while. Mm-hmm. And when I saw the interview, I didn't watch the full interview she did with the rabbi, but I was seeing how the vibe was and she was not happy because he made some really strong allegations, you know, towards her and she was calling him out on it. And I do like the fact of how she said that definitions 
are not malleable. They don't change. If we say this is the definition for this word, then this is what it is. Just because you want to change the definition to fit, to fit your 2024 mindset or ideology, or you want to change it as things continue to progress in regards to what's going on in Israel, then that ain't cool. But I, I really like how she, right, I, I know that, um, Charles Sheeran, Char- I think I said, Char- I said that right. Exactly. Don. Mr. Don said, exactly. he said, hey, it's run by Jews. Yeah, John D- but Shapiro. I still like to say, you know, I, I feel that I, I love the way, you know, she handled, you know, the rabbi. And one thing I can say, I, I like how she handles herself amidst conflict. You know, you can really take a note and a point on, you know, how, you know, her character and how she handles things. I really like that. And I'm glad she has given him the peace sign. You know, however you want to say it, whether you want to say they let her go or she gave him the peace sign. I think it was very mutual, probably. And she stuck in there longer than I felt like she should have. Because when Ben came on and was saying all that stuff, I was like, oh, no, let me just, you know, I probably would not have been cool as cool as she was, you know. But she played it real cool, calm and collected. And she said she chose peace. But. I feel like this is a great opportunity for her to really let her light shine. And I'm just I'm just glad I'm so looking forward to, you know, what is coming, you know, for her and how we can support her, because I don't always agree with every single thing, you know, that she said or she's reported. But, you know, overall, I can understand her ideology and I agree with a lot of principles that she operates in. But even though they are they're they're supposedly supposed to be in a conservative team. Um, the Daily Wire but if you are into censorship because basically that's what you're saying don't say this and you can't say this or we have a problem um, then you're no different than the Daily Wire you're not that much different than the left you're not that much different than, than any other platform out here that will censor you from saying certain things so I'm happy that she's gone so now you won't go into a situation now you can say whatever you want Depending on the platform you jump on, you could go and say what you want. And mm-hmm. I hope Candace does. Oh, she she needs to do it just like Tucker. Get over here and go over here and X. Start start your own. Get your, have your own. You know, she already got her channel and stuff going. Now get over here on X as well and continue to do what she do. Actually, I think she's doing just fine without Daylo. Her show is doing just fine without the Daylo Wire attachment. So it really, you even, for, I naturally forget that she was Daily Wire, to be honest with you. Right. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't even seem but like exactly. And, you know, now she's on locals and she has some other things that, you know, she's that's coming up in the works. And also this was that was the day before that the interview with the Breakfast Club was the day before that happened. So it was a series of things that transpired. She had the interview with the rabbi mm-hmm. and they, you know, didn't agree on certain things, but she stood her ground. And I really dig that. Um, I was not feeling a lot of things that he was saying. I, I just I just wasn't. And um, the interview with the Breakfast Club, that was really like bomb. I watched the whole thing and it was it was really, really good. I really liked, you know, that's one of the few, one of the few interviews that the the Breakfast Club has done that I, you know, can agree with how they conducted the interview. She had opportunity to speak. It was no, you know, trying to tear anybody down or, you know, slick shots. Um sense of humor was going on but she you know she did i think she well, addressed I, a lot of issues yeah i i and now it's trying to breathe free i think sometimes um you can work with some people or work with the company and they will kind of hold you back from being able to go at top speed i think she was already at top speed i think they were just kind of just like somebody who she didn't need you can brush off and go about your way i don't know what kind of financial contract she had with them but i'm sure she can get way bigger and better now that she's going on. Mm-hmm. And I don't think, be personally, can't the Daily Show ain't, ain't even, I mean, Daily Wire ain't even, personally to me, ain't nothing without Candace. I mean, you got Matt, you got Matt and Welsh, Matt Welsh and them on there. That's, right. that's cool. But be honestly, when you would think Daily Wire, you would think Candace Cam- Owens. Right. And um, I saw earlier on um, Benny's show about he was, um, I guess I'll say reporting or, you know, mentioning that they had a meeting there at the Daily Wire and they were really just trying to drill in the other um, 
broadcasters or content creators, you know, who are still on the Daily Wire of how they wanted to make sure they were clear on what was cool to discuss and what was cool not to discuss and highlighting some things about, you know, what they say, you know, how Candace was moving. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and allegedly they had spoken about, you know, what's that potential lawsuits against them, not um, the staff against the Daily Wire because uh-huh. they felt as though they were being bullied and, you know, being pressured about yeah. not saying certain things based off of what just happened. You know, but that's not the way you want to go. I really don't. I think they're going to lose a great number of their viewers in lieu of people really coming to see Candace and to hear her, her point of view. And once again, oh, yeah. you know, nobody's no perfect. Doubt. No doubt. You know, I'm sure that, you know, she may, she's may have, she, I don't know her whole full time career that she's been on the daily wire. I think I've been watching her for the what past two years, maybe mm-hmm. two years, three at the most, but two, I, I can solidly, solidly say two for myself, you know, I um think she's done a pretty good job, but, and I think, it was a comment said I do, I do not consider Trump a typical Republican nor do I consider him very religious those are not the reason I voted for him no new wars less taking out my American checks yeah I do believe that too he was not um, I don't say like a, he believe he believes in Jesus he believes in God but he's not like a hardcore christian but i would rather that than somebody who calls himself a catholic and they do whatever they want to aka joe biden um no i i think it was an overtime of her really honestly sticking to her christian values and not being afraid to say who jesus is and what his role is in in christianity and i think overall that's the sum you know the gist of it and her standing firm and not being willing to please somebody else just because that's what you want to hear or that's what you want me to say based off what your belief is because there's no other religion that gets drugged or dragged or ostracized or ridiculed or or put down negatively and blasphemed other than Christianity any religion you know you say something else against these other religions and oh my gosh it's on but anybody can say anything about Christ or Christianity and this you know it's supposed right now, to be okay. Right now, I could get on, be on this live and say, you know, forget if I wasn't a believer in Christ Jesus, I could say, forget this, forget. I could say, forget this, forget this, forget this, forget mm-hmm, Christianity, mm-hmm. forget Christianity. But then now, if I say the other word with the, the J J word and said that, then this video will get yellow marked. That's messed up. So I just commend her for being who she is and, you know, not being afraid. And that's what, you know, as entrepreneurs and any person, you know, I know people have to be positioned in a certain way. And I'm sure over the over the years, she's been able to position herself well with finances. She's married. She has a strong support system. So this move wasn't very hard, especially with the controversy that went on across, you know, over the past what two or three years. Yeah. And. If it's a if, if someone else is having the same thing, you know, at, against with their boss or company or organization, they may they may have to move a little bit more strategically. But I will say, you know, stand up for what you believe, especially if it's dealing with Christianity and your faith based and you feel as though that you're being drugged or, you know, what I'm saying it's, it's going against how you feel about it. But I think the whole thing now it makes so much sense how it goes back and problematic with Ben Shapiro and his people because she didn't, she didn't support the Israel thing and she, and the crisis came and they had a, such a problem with that. And it's like what gets on my nerve about that. That's the typical elite re- religious group, mm-hmm. the, his side. Okay. Yeah. I see what that's you're saying. That's the, that's been the world renowned thing that happens over there is if you insult anything over here, we're going to completely shut your life down. So, you know, it's just, and it's still like that today, even from a, a platform that you thought that was going to be conservative. But I'm glad she was able to do that. And I'm just looking forward to, you know, her and what she's got, what she has coming down the pipeline. So we have to stay tuned. And those of us who are Candace supporters continue to, you know, support her once again. Oh, yeah. And there are there are multiple prophecies about why Trump has become president. Because remember, 
Remember, God chooses. He has a totally different thinking than us. He chooses the people that you don't think he would choose. And he uses these people. He uses people that are flawed and he uses them for his will. He's done that. Is read your Bible, the entire Bible, the people that aren't worthy you to think that they will do this this particular thing, but he up he he lifts those people and he uses them. So um And to but, real quick, I know we're moving on, but I was yeah. gonna say about the Trump how he was promoting um the Bible. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if you many of you have seen the video we did about it. And I thought it was very, very I like good. The I had no and, problem with the Bible. I'm, with good. Him, I'm good with the Bible. With him talking about it, had, did you, how many of you were able to see the Bible that he's um the Greenwood Bible? Yeah, most, by of them, Greenwood. most of them most of them, most of them seem he really just promoting the Bible. Um that's Lee Greenwood's Bible. But um I'm, I'm, I'm for that. Hallelujah. That's I'm, right, you bun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for I'm for the Bible. Him I'm for a president having a Bible with the Constitution and I'm for that. I'm one hundred percent for that. Because how many that, people to me, know that, the constitutional to rights? Me, to me, that is right. To me, that is America. I I'd rather Trump promote the Bible than, than Biden sitting there eating that ice cream all day. Huh? When he was saying eating that ice cream, go. On. Who? Joe Biden. I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah. I never mattered. That's why I this. put it on the thumbnail oh. because it's like you got one one oh, yeah. um, and La La Land, former president that's saying, you know, I'm selling you know selling these Bibles. This is the Constitution. This got the word of God in there. I'm selling these Bibles. Even though they keep trying to call it a Trump Bible, it's not a Trump Bible. It's just it's a Lee Greenwood. It's a Bible just with the Constitution in it. It's and then people trying to make a big deal of it. And it's typically the left and certain Christians trying to make a make a make a big deal of it. And that's the dumbest thing. Y'all should be happy for that. And yes, so what? Things cost money. Now I don't I'm know. I'm so about tired of her. everything being people got a problem that you're trying to sell something for pro for I money. I don't know about her sounding more left. Ain't not that, ain't nothing what Candace says sounded left to me, bro. bro. Well, Sorry. Well, well. A Bert. I don't agree. And that's not what I've read. Three contracts. They mutually decided not to renew her. You were just on that, baby. I know, my bad. Yeah, but I I don't know about that. That's not what I've been um, hearing. And I've listened to several different news sources about what was really going on. It had to do with her and Christ is king. Now, behind the scenes, when it comes to money, I I mean, maybe she did want more money. I don't know. But that's the first that I've heard that and haven't read that. So I'm not going to validate that. I got to do my own fact checking on that. Boop. But Glass Crash nothing, said she gonna get a Bible. Oh, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna order one too. I just don't ain't nothing left about her, and I, I know her views are not like solid right, but she's more conservative values than on the left. She's about policy, not really the person. She says. So but anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, moving on. Okay, so we um, we can like, we can just go right into um. Um, a greasy guys, greasy. But there was another topic. It was something yeah, else that I had that, that I was that I wanted to mention, y'all. That was going on. So we talked about bridge. Yes, we Trump talk- proof California. This just leads me right on into what Newsom is doing. Go, yeah, go California ahead. is preparing to defend itself and the nation against Trump 2.0. Have y'all checked that out? This is in Politico. You said it's going to do what? Prepare to defend itself and the nation against Trump 2.0. And I'm like, what? So what they're doing, according to Newsom, he's already ar- he's already preparing an army of bureaucrats to defend the state's nation leading climate policies against a potential second Trump administration. So the Newsom administration officials are keenly aware that deep blue California is a prime target for former President Donald Trump's political di- um, diatribes okay. and policy rollbacks. And they fully expect he'll re- resume his attacks on the Golden State if he wins in November, which they're talking about the electric cars. Good. Um, Take away that. You can pull that on back. But he says, we know the playbook, said Newsom. They want to sign. They just recently signed a climate change agreement with Sweden. So they're definitely trying to future proof California in every way, shape or form uh, yeah ask. please no i what do y'all want, think about that I, I want a lot of cal- you real what i want it to happen it's like what larry elder said he said he's what it's going to flip is eventually it's going to turn around and um right now you know things been pushed to the highest level with newsom in there california has already been already you know kind of with the weirdest policies but with newsom he kind of 
upticked him within the last seven years. He's been in office. How long it's been now? Um, well, but his I, term is up in 2025. But I'm I, what I'm hoping so is glad. what I'm hoping is that I want California to eventually fill up, and I feel like things can only go too much, so much to a melting point before they crash, and then you have to build back up. And I believe that's why I believe, like what Larry Elder said, I believe California will do that. All the people that have 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 gone to Texas, it's you right, it's, Randy. I believe in time. In time. California's going to make some adjustments and people are going to start coming back here. Watch. I'm telling you. Watch. Just Randy said it. Trump is the only chance America has. And I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. And that too. is why they are trying but I hope, I hope, so hard. I hope he changes. I mean, I hope so he can hard. Fight, fight as much as he can from a presidential level for the things that are in California that need to be changed. Well, he needs to be able to change certain things. But certain things about a state. See, what people don't understand, the president can do stuff from a presidential level, but then the states be still running it how they want to. that's exactly why Newsom is trying to future-proof California by signing the latest deal between California and Stellantis, the world's fourth largest automaker, which agreed to abide by the state's emission rules. With that voluntary commitment, the Chrysler and Dodge manufacturer helped armor California's climate agenda against lawsuits and a potential federal effort to roll back its more ambitious policies. Because this was the first, you know, docket on um, his list. California would have a particularly distinct clash of policies and characteristics if the MAGA leader returns to the White House. Trump would take office in 2025, which is Gavin Newsom's final um, tenure in the governor's mansion. I'm glad. So, I mean, but we know that California it was high on on his list to be able to, to get in and try to do some things. And that's why they're, they're trying because to you go ahead. Think, and that's the, the state that matters the most that you make change between California and New York. Those to matter the most as far as when you start messing with policies that affect the world because those two are one of, are the biggest effects on the world as far as states, uh, I would say. But I feel like the way they do these laws, there's got to always be some loophole way for them to get in. Look at what has been going on no, in no, our no government. Doubt. No doubt. So by him trying to Trump proof California, you know, it's just there's always a loophole. Yeah, um, California has California will kind of work around. They'll try to work around whatever those mandates were. That's how they do on most of all this stuff. Um, he's not really saying what he's going to do. It says that he hasn't explicitly articulated his strategy this time around. But the state has a well-worn script from Trump's first term that it's already turning, um, turning to again. So legal strategies, voluntary agreements with industry and displays of soft power in diplomatic arena. So middle class mom, you said, do do you have the book yet in my spirit? I think he has the book of Enoch in it. No. So I um, typically don't read the lost books, the um, the not the lost books, but the unpublished books like Book of Enoch. And um, I don't. I, what I say is when I come when it comes to like Book of Enoch and those books, you need to thoroughly know the Bible, the canon first before you read like Enoch and things like that, because it'll sway you. Because once you because once you read an Enoch, it'll kind of throw you from things from the, the canon. So, no, I, I, I don't. I have not read it. Um, the electric cars that burn at 5,000 degrees when the battery catch fire. Yeah, I'm, I'm not with the electric cars. On, the only thing I really like electric is my scooter. I got an electric scooter in there. And I, I've been riding around. <laughs> I'm good with the scooter. Biggest kid I know. California wants new some guy, but he rigs his recall. He's destroying California or it's destroyed, polluted beach. He's stolen the money. Sewage, sewage from Tijuana. Oh, well, I, I do believe there was some Tijuana water things going on. It's weird because I didn't know that we get water from TJ. Did you know that? Yeah, I heard it in um, one of the channels that we watch. Um, Let's see. I'm looking at some of these comments here. Ben is more left than Candace, Candace Owens. He's basically counseling her, which is le a left thing. I agree. He is more left than Candace Owens. Yes, he is. News going to recall again. News going to get recalled again. I, I, yeah, I hope. I hope. I hope Newsom don't. I definitely didn't vote for him. But once I feel like Trump gets in um, office, he's going to be making a whole change in administration, like they all do. And I'm glad. I can't wait for him to do a clean sweep. You know. Um, yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, I the, feel yeah. like the illegals voting thing oh. is ridiculous. That's been a, a play that that's one of those ones, man. They they because those people, like I said, we talked about that for the longest, man. That when they let the illegal um, people in, they trying to play the long game of long votes. Well, Democrats. Cindy said that Beverly Hills rallies are going to be off the chain this year. Off the chain this year, mm. Cali is more conservative than people think. I think that's oh, no. outwards. Absolutely, yes, outwards. Absolutely. But the city of Los Angeles is blue, baby. So I will say I do agree with um, Cindy. Beverly Hills is conservative. L.A., which is surrounded around Beverly Hills, is left. And that's what's so weird, too, because when you go to. So if any of y'all have ever been to L.A., right. If you going down Wilshire Boulevard, it's L.A., L.A., L.A. You come through L.A. then you start getting to like um, 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 Century, Century City. And then you get to when you get to you get to Beverly Hills night and day. Yeah. But yeah. then as soon as you pass through Beverly Hills, <laughs> L.A. So you could tell conservative conservative is always clean typically clean liberal is always dirty why is that's crazy that? right why is that's that? that's crazy like and when you go through beverly hills you can't even be homeless you cannot you cannot they there's not one homeless person on the street of beverly hills now they might have closed on some stores in beverly hills but they don't allow homeless people or none of that stuff when you go through beverly hills oh no it's spotless they it's clean spotless. as soon as you cross over that line it would be so crazy y'all when he was at ucla and i would try, drive sometimes to go and pick him up from work typically on Fridays, man, we would leave from one s- s- end of, what was that main street? Is it, not Melrose, but. Um, the main street. Yeah, Wilshire. Wilshire. Yeah, Wilshire one Boulevard. One end of Wilshire to the next, and you just drive, and it starts off over here, dirty, filthy, then it gets clean, 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 spotless. And then. And then tapers back <laughs> off again. It tapers it's back like off. It's crazy. And then you see human dookie. On the ground. One day, one of the Trump administration not only will Crooked Joe's electric vehicle mandate be terminated, but any Biden waiver allowing gasoline power cars to be outlawed will be immediately revoked. Lovett added in her statement. So this is something that Trump plans on doing once he gets gas powered cars, so, gas powered cars. I mean, gas powered cars. If you want to have gas an electric vehicle, go gas go right cars. ahead. I mean, I'm not down. I'm a gas them, head. But I love gas car. I, love I don't motors. think it should be forced upon a person no. because in the event something goes down and you need to travel, it's going to be straight chaotic. No, nah, I can't. And. I mean, we thought about it, you know, and it was now, like, if you want your, if, you want if, if your gas powered car hybrid where it can flux with the electricity, but you still gas, that's I'm talking good. About strictly, but just, but strictly poles. Nah, let's go and let's go and eradicate that, that, that law and let that rule. If people want to buy those, let it be option, but don't make it and force it. Don't force me to buy those. No, I don't think, um, I don't think so. Did you see the thing with the lady on the plane? The lady. Oh yeah. What's we, up? What are these people on the plane? But we what didn't. You, I didn't finish looking at it. I, I didn't. I what, wanted to see the whole thing. What? What's up with the lady? What's up with that lady on that plane? That. What's up with these people on this panicking and going know. nuts on the plane? Then the planes have problems too. Um. Well, I mean, there are sane people on there who know how to think and and know what to do in that type of crisis. You know, that's that's all you need. You need thinkers who are gonna take action because now this, it's like the world is crazy. That's how I feel. It is crazy. So you and have somebody that's spazzing out or doing some crazy, strange things on the plane. Be a thinker and think about your life and your family's life. You're trying to get back home to and make it and take positive action, boo. I'm just saying. Mr. Don said, I read yesterday that eight states are, are what do you say? I know eight I ain't going to be able to go to sleep. are moving to ban gas powered vehicles. That's insanity. I love gas power vehicles. I love engines it's that crazy. run off gas and oil. So um, they must only are going to be local to their state because who is going to travel in an electric car? What's up, Jose? What's going on, Jose? In the shout, out, shout out to Jose. Shout out to Jose. What's going on, Jose? Happy Friday. Great to see you. No, but I'm no nah, gas. Give me gas powered cars, baby. Because just day. think of you. We gas were, powered cars. We've driven to Vegas before, and we had thought about getting a Tesla at one point, and yeah, we were we like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I thought about something. I don't know. I think I mentioned this to y'all before, but when we come from L.A., when you drive from L.A. and you drive to Vegas, right? L.A. to Vegas is about three hours. It's about three hours, three and a half, three, three or maybe a quarter, depends on how you're going. But in between L.A. 
I mean, in between where we live and Vegas, you got your safest bet is Barstow. When you go through Barstow, Barstow is still still pretty, you know, pretty regular. But when you get to them little towns, you know, good and well. It ain't you know good and well in between them little towns where the hills have eyes. It is no yeah. electric cars in the, between us. So you have to we can hardly sure. find a gas station. No, you barely, if you barely <laughs> find a gas station, how you gonna find an electric pump? Exactly. That's why I'm like, man, no, no, so, no. no. Lo, lo, I think I think electric cars are for the are for the local ride. Local ride. Man, you go from a distance to end up somewhere in, in the middle between Vegas. Look for electricity. You crazy. I see um, the conscious universe. What else? Okay, so we got our, our last topic for the evening, guys. What's that? And that is, I know you have seen, because we did a video on it. Yeah. Um, the my, they, They're they calling him the migrant influencer, but he is actually telling yeah, yeah. Shout out other to- <laughs> uh, immigrants how to invade <laughs> U.S. homes and squat. Hey, so, so this dude right what here. What do y'all think about that? This dude get on my nerve, right? So I, so he came over. I think he was a he was a he was an illegal immigrant. He came over in 2022. He skipped over and got in in 2022. And ever since then, he was he started teaching other people that were illegal how to obtain things here in the states. How to obtain a car that's on the side of the road. How to obtain a house. How to do this and that. And they finally bust this dude. First of all, they shut down his platforms, his Instagram, his all his Instagram stuff like this, and his um his TikTok. And then next, you know, they finally confiscated and ran up on this dude because think about all the people that you teaching how to do wrong and how many people were looking at those videos that went in and implemented what he said. You know how many cars be on the side of the road? That's somebody car. They just ain't went and got their car. You know, you know how many people that own properties out here? That you have that they are working on a property or it might be abandoned while they're working on stuff or they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with the property. But then you go and somebody living in it. And now you got to get the, the squad or squad to kind of kick people out of these houses. It's ridiculous. I mean, I think that's so wrong. How can someone who is breaking? Well, their laws now, it seems like to protect them. But you have no right to this house. You own no deed. You have no lease or any of that. And you just. Think it, take it upon yourself to invade someone's home because they're not there or they're traveling or it's, be, it's vacant to rent out or whatever the situation is to sell. And you just now it's yours and you're going to invade it and start living there. I mean, I just don't I can't even wrap my mind around and, and how someone even thinks that. And when you live in states like California, this pre- people can a you know, person can b- bust in, live in a house, take care of the house. And you can't make them leave from the house. So that's why you got those people that these high these independent companies that people are hiring like the Squatter Squad, which are real legitimate I companies out here, and then they're out here on close to these parts of town. And they busting in like the five phone with, with the thing in the door and everything. I mean, they coming in like this is my house. Why are you here? Because California has a rule, like I said, when you when I was when I'm looking at certain properties in California, and you look at like tax deeds and people and ta- people that are behind on like tax deeds and liens and stuff like that. You look and you notice that it takes years for California to evict somebody from a house. I mean, it takes if a person doesn't pay their property tax for years, it takes it's five years before it will go on the county on the steps to sell it. So think about somebody establishing residency in a home and they've been living a best life for five, seven years before somebody decides to say, hey, I want to come back. I want to I bought this property. I want to check check on my property and then you see a whole family people have raised families in these houses and stuff like that and she said is is it isn't happening with most um homeowner, homeowners but it's happening with quite a bit i mean even so in not, Beverly, not most but then think you, about if you're in a situation with somebody i mean but no everybody who has owned property at if you've owned property and you own multiple properties, it's, it's some of those where you got to have you got to cash for keys, people, and you got to pay the money to be able to leave these properties. And then some people ain't gonna leave these properties. But even here, we saw on, on the they, news these nice big time homes in Beverly Hills squatters had taken over a mansion or two, and these people had been suffering for months, loud parties. It was crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh, how is this possible? How can this be happening? Yeah. So Politico is saying the um, migrant influencer, Leno Moreno, who mocked America on social media in several viral videos, has been nabbed 
by federal immigration authorities. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Fugitive Operations Officers arrested him in Columbus, Ohio on Friday, and he is currently being held at Gaia, I think that's how you say it, I don't know, county jail, according to ICE records. The arrest so, comes so, after the Post exclusively reported how he had skipped out on ICE soon after crossing the southern border into Texas illegally in 2022 and was now wanted by authorities. I wonder, my question was, was he lived, the house or wherever he was living, was that one of the properties that... He um, squatted in himself. I don't know. But see, that's what you get for blasting everything on social media. I know. You know? Pe- people I don't mean, have no, fil- no separation. No, I mean, that is they it's tell really. You, they tell you how they shot somebody, what a gun at, and what time they what time they're going to be at the house. Crazy. I mean, it's, it's insane. So I'm glad that they brought him to justice because that makes no sense. Don't don't tell people how to come over here and, t- and take over someone's property who has worked and 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 use their heart sweat blood and tears to be a homeowner i just don't dig that. well thank oh, thank god um um rise of the x-man yeah i saw your previous post you said something about you they found they found a donor for you so you know praise god if you if this is actually your situation you know thank god that you are going that you'll be healed in in the name of jesus so thank god that you'll be healed rise of the x-man um well, thank God you've been here, not you'll be here. You've been here. So, I mean, I don't know if you all saw that on on um, our on the on our video feed, but I think that that's, you know, that ain't cool. It said, it said roommates in Cali can be a nightmare. I, I got him out even when he called the cops. Culver City took my side, um, took my side because I, I didn't back down. Mm. Yeah, I, I believe you because we've done that before, and yeah, that, that can be something else right there. Well, not and she said Culver, and she said Culver City, so the L.A. area. So that I'm glad because L.A. is well, Culver City is different how they run about versus just regular L.A. Like Col- Culver City is going to be on top of it, like hey, you're going to be on Beverly Hills. It's not as precise as Beverly Hills, but Culver City is a very nice spot, and then mm-hmm. their police force is going to be different, like like going in like in, in Westwood, right. And I was going to say, um, I'm glad that you got your uh, bone marrow match. That's really, really great. Most definitely. And happy early birthday. Um, it's world. 18 years of squatters rights. I heard in New Jersey it can be as little as six months. That's ridiculous. I don't understand how you that. Grow a how whole do you family have rights? For, I and, mean, and, a, and not paying a dime. How does a person who does not own a property invade the property and have rights? against the owner who owns the property where is that saying i don't get that 18 years imagine if a person lived free for 18 years they um, had a son they had a child they didn't raise the son I cannot. Went to college there's got to be a way well there and that's why you have so every state needs to get the squatter squad okay some form of the squatter squad squad because whatever they do they know also their legal right and they come in asking you know, do you have lease to this property? I mean, where your blah blah blah. Well, you're right. Yeah. Exactly. What's so, your right to this? What's your you don't hmm, need? Who's a, who's on the deed? And that's the thing. If you don't know, it's it's a shame. It shouldn't even be questioned. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, look out, y'all be. So now I'm gonna say also what I was saying earlier. Um, I say this every time we go on a live. Make sure y'all have some forms of communication. And what I keep saying is, make sure you have a a a um. A, a push to talk radio, ham I'm radio. Happy about them walkie talkies. No, I'm dead serious about that. <laughs> he is so happy about them walkie talkies. Because if if there happens I mean, something with power and things like that, you need to, ways to communicate with people. Make sure y'all true. get forms of y'all have ways to communicate with your people outside of cell phones. Make sure you have some food. Make sure you have some things set aside, even if it's not for for a very long time, but just in case power is lost or just in case communication goes down make sure you have the ability the to, to at be least three months but if not at least for 30 days 30 days at know. least to where you can be in your house and not going to the stores or or panicking on the road because that's where all the people that be you know cutting up will be outside so you want to make sure that y'all have certain things i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all if this it is, gets to i told that. y'all this is and there's going to i'm telling there's a big shakeup coming that's even it shakier is. than the stuff that we have than we're seeing right now However, so that's why i'm telling y'all to make sure i have something to get through the small times i know that m- most people 
Some people don't have the means to be able to do certain things, but there's certain things that you can do. You can go go buy a six pack of noodles, stack up on those because they are so cheap. Get you some, get you some extra waters to put up in the closet. The radios that I'm talking about on Amazon, they're like twenty dollars. They're twenty dollars in the ham radios. They're ham radio. So if with a ham radio with an extended antenna, you should be able to get up to 20 miles. Possibly you can get up to 20, 20 miles, 15, 20 miles of communication um, without using your cell phone. So and they're and they're like 20 bucks on Amazon and, and the antennas are like ten dollars. So prep those little things you can great. do. Yeah. Prep for one year would be absolutely awesome those look, if the, you could. If you could. But most a lot of the American people. <laughs> can't prep out that <laughs> long but they could get stuff cheap i'm telling you, you get stuff so cheap and have it in the house so you're not running to the store if something go down but that's not gonna get very far you're talking about you need some mileage behind them two cups connected with a yarn <laughs> as your backup communication device but i was gonna say you said what if, hold up what'd you say read victors even if even if um I use two your connect, connect with yarn back up yeah it may not be chaotic but look, but look, I'm somebody saying, right down the street if it may not be chaotic <laughs> but Things may be extremely high. You know, things could be very expensive. You know, chaos would be the last absolute thought that I would have. But if stuff gets to be a shortage or and then things start because of the shortage, prices increased and it makes it a, a real challenge mm -hmm. to go to get, you know, certain things, then you'll already be um, in the game because you'll have a, a stash. And that's the thing. When the stuff go down and now you're trying to go and order it, that's when this stuff y'all sold out. That's what we got caught up with. $60 for a gallon of water. When y'all know when the the whole um yeah. the mm -hmm. CIV thing they went know. down. They know. They my know. wife said, God, she said, I'm hearing in my spirit. We need to go get some. We need to make sure to go get toilet paper today because this was before stuff going down. So that wasn't no issue. Man, I said, hey, I'll be, I ain't going to do nothing. And next, you know, boom. Now, I'm at the store. It's a line wrap for toilet paper. So, I now, I just, I don't play on it. I make sure that we have stuff before anything, especially especially in California. You know, it's some, you know, we always need to be ready in California for that, for that one big earthquake. You know, so. Whew. Hopefully, it will be years and years and years and years down the line. Well, that's all I have. You know, we, yep. we talked about the, everything on my list. It's been great. So glad that you were able to chime in with us. Oh, wait, 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 what? wait. Almost forgot, guys. What? If you have zoomed into our um, channel, we have joined. So we have, um, so we're doing some things different. Wanted to engage with you more. You guys get to tap in a little bit more to us. And some guys have asked, about, asked us about this on Instagram about um, our podcast. So I don't know, they must have been following us for a while, but we used to have a podcast called Marriage Real Talk. We've changed the name, but we're relaunching our podcast and we're going to be dropping it in the community. So look at the join tab and there are three different levels. Fun, it's going to be private member only chats and lives and um, episodes to the podcast will be featured to a specific group. So definitely, definitely, definitely chime in. We're so excited, excited and we're going to have another level of content on um, our Patreon. And that one is um, in the making. It's not quite ready yet because we really have some different stuff that we're putting over there where we can really dive deep, you know, over there. So just stay tuned. But right now, ready to tap in are the um, is the community on our YouTube channel. So check it out. Let us know what you think and stay tuned for the podcast. We're going to put a community post up, but it's going to be coming in April. All right. That's right. All right, y'all, man. We're going to let y'all get back to y'all weekend. I don't know where you are. It could be a little bit later. It could be a little bit earlier on the next day. But, you know, man, like we always say, 2024, be more. Talk less. We'll see you on Love you guys. Next Appreciate we love you. Guys. See you we soon. We love y'all.